Short answer is no. Okay, uh, good morning guys. Uh, Dr. Steve Williams, Surgeon in Black. Thanks for tuning in. So, this has been driving me a little bit crazy all weekend. Um, got a bunch of calls last week about hair Botox. No! All right, so, uh, you know, misleading. <laughs> uh, no such thing as actually Botox, botulism, toxin being used on the hair. Um, not that I'm aware of anyway. Short answer is no. But it's an example of branding. It's an example of people using a, a common topic or a common treatment that's in dermatology and plastic surgery offices to try to promote a brand. And the concept of hair Botox is that it's actually just some cream you smear on your hair. It's got some vitamins in it. It has some keratin and uh, it's just bizarre. Um, Botox, as you guys know, works by actually paralyzing the muscles, usually on your face, but in other places too, to decrease wrinkles. And so you can see I need a little bit right there um, because these muscles can really activate and pull these wrinkles in. And when you inject Botox, it temporarily blocks the action of those muscles. It disconnects the connection between the nerves and the muscles, meaning that these wrinkles go away. First of all, your hair doesn't have muscles and your hair doesn't have nerves. And uh, you can't inject the hair and smearing Botox on top, real Botox on top of your hair doesn't do anything. And so we want to unpack it a little bit and we want to try to figure out what were they talking about. And so we did a little bit of research um, and the concept was that these topical treatments fill in the cracks and the channels that can be in the hair shaft, you know, in the the, not in the follicle itself, not inside of your scalp or your body, but on the hair itself. Not only is it misleading because it kind of uses a medical treatment or, or a drug to describe a non-pharmaceutical or non-medical treatment, but they don't even work in the same way. Botox, again, paralyzes the muscle by blocking the transmission of the nerve to the muscle. Hair Botox, and I'm gonna be doing air quotes all through this, hair Botox, works by supposedly filling in those channels to change the quality of your hair somehow, and somehow that's not supposed to be lasting and not supposed to go away the first time you wash your hair. Short answer is no. If anything, if they were gonna describe any medical treatment, they could have said hair filler or hair hyaluronic acid or hair, because again, the concept is they're using a compound to fill in gaps. And so when you think about filler, um, that we use here in our offices, like Juvederm, like Restylin, those types of fillers, you're actually filling in deficits or filling in hollows within the face. And so for example, this wrinkle here, this is my nasolabial fold. That wrinkle is something that I would not use Botox on. This wrinkle is something that I would inject filler for because I'm missing a little bit of volume here, putting volume underneath the skin tends to fill that out and make that look a little bit more youthful, a little bit more natural. And so if these guys were gonna call it anything, they should have called it hair filler or something like that, but that clearly wasn't as sexy. And so they chose hair Botox, which. Short answer is no. I mean, just like big fail. That's terrible. That's terrible. All right, thanks guys uh, for tuning in again. Um, we appreciate the likes and follows. Uh, again, my name is Sir, uh, Stephen Williams, uh, Tri Valley Plastic Surgery, and um, online uh, you can find us at Tri Valley Plastic Surgery or at Surgeon in Black. Thanks.